Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grubigly with another episode of Gaming with Grubigly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Tower Crash 3D, and this is a game where apparently we have to shoot balls at a tower of different blocks that are just sort of like hanging out there, minding their own business, and we're trying to topple those towers by just clicking on them. So it's sort of a puzzle game, it's sort of just a fun arcade game, I'm going to show you guys here in a second, but it looks super awesome very excited for this one oh yeah look at how tall this tower is so we start off here with different colored balls now just as a heads up if I make a couple mistakes here guys I am someone who suffers from color blindness for those of you who don't know that about me I am red green color blind it's something that affects the way that I see certain blues certain purples certain reds and certain greens and yellows and oranges and things like that it doesn't affect me to a degree where it's like super debilitating but it is something that gets in the way a little bit with these types of games hopefully I'll be able to figure it out hopefully the colors are easily enough uh, <laughs> to be distinguished uh, so here we go and oh you can so this is cool you can rotate the whole tower and then you get to select where you shoot so this is a uh, yeah that matches those colors and then you just try to topple as much of the tower as you can so I'm gonna shoot right here BAM very cool oh man okay I was about to take another shot oh and as you break more and more of the tower, first of all, there's a bar at, in, at the very top there that fills up. That's our progression, I guess, towards level two. We only have 15 shots left. And we have another bar beneath it that's like a cannon. I'm guessing that's like a power up or something along those lines. But as you knock down more layers of the tower, more open up in the gray part of the tower here on the bottom. This is cool. I like this a lot. So hit that one. Oh my gosh, what a shot. Oh heck yeah, this is, I like the chill music in this and it's just like really laid back. There's no like time limit or anything. This is one of those types of games you guys know I just love. I adore these types of games because they're just so easy to pick up and start learning. They're super fun, but at the same time, they're just, I, God, this is so cool. Like very, very mellow, very relaxing after like a tough day of work or tough day of school, whatever it might be that you're coming off of, you're able to play games like this and just chill out and just knock over a tower like this is so cool these are the types of games I used to play all the time when I was a kid I'd build up like big Lego towers and then just like throw like golf bar balls at them or whatever to try and knock them all over like that's that's fun this is like fun except this is way less destructive than that was when I was a kid so this is even better oh my gosh this one's lined up so it's cool so if there's uh, the same color oh little mochi popped up and went yay at me Oh, and we unlocked the cannon thing. So this is just a cannonball, straight up cannonball. I can just shoot this wherever. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it just goes all the way through the tower and destroys it. That's sick. That's so good. That's super fun. Okay, I like this game a lot. We got seven coins as well. Not sure what those are for. Actually, I am because there was like those things on the, yeah, over here on the bottom right, uh, there's like different colors, I'm guessing. Uh, like we can pick up like super power-ups or something. I don't know. We have nowhere close to enough coins But I, it looks like so what I was trying to say before is if there's colors that are touching when you hit them with the same color ball It sets off a chain reaction to hit all of them And I guess when you get like a super big combo an emoji pops up and goes yay at you So this is really fun. This is a really well made game. I like this a lot. I really really enjoy this quite a bit All right, so we hit that one Oh, yeah, knocking them all down. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, some extra ones fell there. Sometimes you just got to give it a second, like there. I could have shot again if I wanted, but instead I waited for the physics to take over. Knock down a couple bonus balls for me. Let's hit this corner one here. Yeah, maybe knock some. Yeah, knock some more over. Keep pushing. Yes, the gravity. The gravity of the tower knocks it over. There's a big chain reaction. Oh, heck yeah. Now, this is dope. This is really fun. I like this so much already and it's so easy to just click and oh there we go Yeah, it's so easy to just click it and uh, Shoot it exactly where you want it to go. You don't have to like judge the arc of the ball or anything It's literally just like whichever brick you click you will be able to hit that brick It's it's set up to just do it nice and easy. Yeah, just like that. Oh, man This is so fun. Okay. We're so close so close to victory town here we only got 11 shots left though. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've been doing an okay job as far as like picking the right blocks to shoot, but uh, there's there's just a lot left to do. There's so many more to knock down. There's so many more blocks to go. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's hit this one because yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Moving up, moving up. Do we have, we almost have cannonball. This next one should get us the cannonball, is my guess. Oh yeah, okay, let's shoot the cannonball at the very bottom of the base. Let's see if this, yeah, line it up like that. Boop. Oh yeah, <laughs> we got the gasping emoji. <gasps> oh my gosh, and then it gives us the thumbs up emoji here at the very end. Man, this game is so freaking good. This is super chill, I like this a lot. We almost have enough coins to allow us to buy one of these power-ups as well, so that's good. And we're back to this like cylindrical shape. Of, uh, of blocks. Oh, these ones are way easier than the, uh, the rectangular ones, I feel like. They just feel, like, a lot easier to knock over. Um, I think it's just because they're all round, and when they, like, bump into each other like that, they're, they're, like, put, like, way more off balance. All right, hit that one. Oh, is that gonna knock down a whole bunch? Oh, almost. It felt good, but it, it didn't do as good as I wanted. I guess I gotta, I gotta knock down stuff here. Yes! That's the big one! That knocked down so freaking many, dude. It was so good. Okay. How about this one here on the corner? Yeah. Big old topple. Knock them all down for me. This one should be a pretty decent shot too. No? Okay. We got to take out the base. Oh, no. See, if I had waited, if I would just been patient, I wouldn't have wasted that shot. If I would just been patient and watched where the things were falling from. Okay. Here, I think we can go here. All right. That's setting it up. We need like a red real bad i think i'm pretty sure that's a red there on the bottom that should be able to not or this one this one should do pretty good no oh it's balanced by too much stuff never mind okay no it's knocking down some stuff it's oh yeah here we go leaning tower of pisa that's what's happening here that's the effect we got going very good oh my god look at all of them fall look at all of them topple this is so great this is so fun this is so fun because like you don't have to overthink this it's it's fairly easy to like figure out where you should shoot for the most part, which just makes it so casual and fun. But at the same time, even though it's casual, it just, oh my God, it's just so satisfying. There's something very cathartic about destroying, like I said, like a big pile, a big tower of a bunch of stuff. All right, this next shot I'm guessing should be cannonball. Yes. Okay, cannonball time, ready, bow. Oh no, I bounced it off the bottom platform. That's okay. So I, that, that like glowing, uh, white and black checkered like circular thing on the very bottom That's something that apparently is the goal So once we hit that line, it doesn't matter if we knock off the last few that are on the platform If they're all beneath that line, it means we've already hit the goal So that's all that the game cares about So what happens if I use my 25 coins? 25 coins will get me what? What did that get me? Um, oh, you click it, it's a power up It's a ball that can shoot any color Oh, holy crap, that was amazing. Okay, I didn't know that it goes like multi-ball style and this destroys everything. That was so dope. That was so cool. Oh my God, this game is so good. This game is so fun. Holy crap, I am having a blast with this. That's no pun intended either. I know that we're blasting these blocks as much as we can here, but uh, this, is just, this is just so freaking fun. It's just so freaking fun. Okay, here, good shot. Maybe? No? Yeah? Okay, a couple more blocks fallen. Just real slow. Some stragglers there. See, when it's like this, when it's these uh, this tower here with the rectangular blocks, the angular ones, they hold up so much better. They're so much harder to knock over. Oh my gosh, it's like the can game at the fair, you know? Like, you, you have to throw, like, a ball at the milk cans, but they're so, like, bottom-heavy. There's so, like so much surface area of them is touching the bottom of the platform that it's impossible for you to be able to knock them all over. Oh no, that's so frustrating. Let me get them. Yeah. Okay. Now we're knocking down a few more. Now we're getting a couple more levels unlocked here on this. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Um, we got, all right. I think this one. Okay. And then this one. That's, oh, that's barely doing anything. It's shifting slowly, but surely this area is shifting. But not enough for my taste. Okay. Ooh, now we go. Now we go big time. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was almost a yay, I feel like. I feel like that was almost a yay moment. Some, okay, couple of straggler blocks fallen still. Good stuff. Oh, oh, see, there you guys go. So if you mess up, if you shoot the wrong color, there's my color blindness in effect. If you shoot the wrong color, it will just bounce off the side. It will make you feel like a fool. Like, how dare you even try to shoot that one? I'm guessing as the game goes on, there's probably more colors introduced, which makes it even harder, especially for me, obviously. But uh, yeah, this one? 
Nope, that should have been these ones. The ones uh, uh, above it. Oh my gosh. Here, finally, I was going to say, I've been doing pretty well. My color blindness hasn't really caught up to me, but here here it is. Again, that's really hard for me to tell apart, the, the color difference. Fortunately, these ones are okay. Oh, I could really use a cannonball. I think I'm about to get one. I think I'm about to get a cannonball, which should be good. There we go. Very good. Bam. Oh, yeah. That's right, gasping emoji. That's right. I knocked them all down. Easy peasy that time. I didn't let my disability get in my way. Oh, wow. This is a unique looking tower. But, and we have enough coins to buy uh, the rainbow balls again. But, Guys, I am going to actually end this episode here or else this is going to end up being like a freaking three hour video. This game is super fun. I really enjoy it a lot. I like the atmosphere of it with the nice music. There's no timer. Uh, it's just one of those games that you just get to like keep playing. You get to keep challenging yourself. You get all of these like special powers and stuff and it just... It's fun. Like I said, it's cathartic to knock things over now and then. Just be like, oh, I'm going to smash everything. It's just really, really fun. Hopefully you guys had fun watching me play this game, though. Tower Crash 3D was a lot of fun for me, obviously. If you did enjoy this video, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.